today I'm gonna give you an amazing brush pack for free or at least you can pay whatever you want to create the most easy photo manipulation effect there is on this planet in Affinity Photo. Are you ready? This is the scribble effect. Let's go. All right, now here we are in Affinity Photo and I just want to show you how stupidly easy this effect is to create and you can see the results are very, very cool. All right, now let's hide everything for now. And what I've done is I've created a very, very simple background by using a fill layer. So I went to layer, new fill layer and then press G on the keyboard. I used a radial gradient and then simply dragged to create this fun and super easy background. Now, I want to use this image as an example. It is a black and white image, but I will show you that this works on basically any image. So you can have a colored image of a portrait of a car of your pet or whatever. It works on every single photo. Now let's hide this mask for now. And there's also an effect that I want to um, hide for now. And there we go. All right, so what we want to do to create this effect is very simple. Um, we want to create a black layer mask. So I'm going to hold Alt and click my mask icon. And with the mask selected, I'm going to press B on the keyboard to select my brush tool. You want to make sure that your foreground color is set to white. So you can press D to go to your default colors. And now you just pick any of the I am Renzi scribble brushes. They are available for free to download and I'll show you how in just a bit. All right, so we grab any of these brushes and all we want to do is just click a couple of times to create this effect. Now, that's how stupidly easy it is. And there are 10 scribble brushes available. So you just basically click on any brush and you just tap once or twice, maybe grab another brush. And you can also, instead of just tapping, you can also click and drag. So um, I've made the brushes in such a way that it won't look like they actually clone or duplicate. They actually rotate on the go, let's say. So I'm going to brush uh, a little bit right here. Maybe I want to use this one and I'm going to increase the brush size by yeah using the right bracket key. Maybe click once here. Maybe I want to use another brush, maybe. I don't know, maybe this one. I don't like this one so much, maybe this one. And let's increase the brush size and yeah, maybe click once like this and there we go. Now, that was how easy it is to make this scribble effect. Now you can see that at the very bottom of this um, brush pack, I've included a normal soft round brush and that is to fix some masks, let's say. So you can see that we've got some white thingies in our glasses and maybe we don't like it. So I can use this brush to just fix those little defects, let's say. Now, as mentioned, there are 10 brushes inside of this brush pack, excluding the soft round brush, but this is just a basic brush. Now to show you this effect also works on, yeah, other photos. I've got this example of my girlfriend, so let me hide the other one. And yeah, I've already created this very simple uh, scribble effect, of course. And what you can do if you want, you can add some text over it and maybe just write something nice and create a nice postcard or whatever. Now, these brushes, they are available for completely free, but I want to say you one little thingy. Me and my girlfriend, we would love to go on a nice kite surf trip because she's totally crazy about kite surfing. And I took my first lessons and I'm currently saving up for my own gear. But this stuff is super expensive. So if you appreciate what I'm doing for the Affinity Photo community and if you love my tutorials, then feel very free to pay whatever you want for these brushes. Now you can find the link to this brush pack down below in the video description. This is not my only brush pack. So if you want to check out the other I am Rancy brushes, check out the other link in the video description. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.